companion need a companion or do you have two or more and feel like they're calling the shots not you well here today is Jeannie Keys professional dog trainer and behavior specialist owner of dog face her daughter Abby and dog Wyatt and they are here with some great advice on multi-dog households and your number one key to success is management absolutely when you have multiple dogs in the house you have multiple the work basically right so a lot of things that we talk about in the workshop are management, um, making sure that all your dogs are living peaceably, making sure you're preventing any fights or arguments from starting in the first place. And you say to teach them that their name is the release word. Right. So you would use that when they're going in and out of the house or? Yep, in and out of doorways especially. I use it with my dogs when it's feeding time. So an example would be if I have both of my dogs together and I want them to both get up at the same time, I'll say, okay. But if I want one dog to get up first, I'll say, Bella. And then Wyatt would still have to be waiting until I say his name. And then when I'm ready for him to go through, I'd say, Wyatt. And then he could go through. So they're not oh. breaking the screen down or going yeah. for the same food bowl. Is that hard to teach? Not at all. No? No. Wyatt, because you're so smart. <laughs> and you say also the dominant dog doesn't always have to be first. No, we don't want to stress who's dominant within the, the pack of dogs because we don't know for sure. Right. And oftentimes it can change. Sometimes it can even change daily. So if we try to almost make one of the dogs more dominant, we can be causing problems. Manage high value possessions. So food would be one of those, and I'm thinking treats and other things. Treats would be, yep, doorways, anything where both of the dogs can't have it at the same time. And you manage by doing the same command you were explaining? Yep, absolutely. Okay, lastly, you say new theme in the household. They get what they want by being calm and polite. Exactly. So if both, if both your dogs want to come up and get pet at the same time, I would ask them to go back. And then the dog that's the calmest and the most polite is going to be getting forward. my attention first. I know you're holding a workshop for people who would like to learn more about this, and it's mm -hmm. coming up next week. Yep, and next you still Monday. have spots available? We do. Yep, it's next Monday Hi, at uh, 6.30 at our McFarland location at the Dog Hut. And I just want to thank Jeannie because she is do doing this as a benefit to Days. And I don't know if many people out there know, but a lot of times abusers use pets as a form of um, power and control. And so thank you yeah. for doing that as a benefit to Days, yeah. which I'm on the Board of Trustees for. If you want more information on the upcoming multi-dog workshop or just more dog training tips, Jeannie has a great website. Just go to NBC15.com.